Hey guys, it's the Bronx Hippie and I am back at the food forest with another update. So let's go. Okay, so the hostas almost as well as bait is already done flowering. Um, these that I planted this year are starting to let off some. And that is a hollyhock. I'm so happy. I was not sure what that was. I did plant hollyhock seeds, but they're like they weren't they weren't doing it. So I'm super happy. Look, they're so pretty super pretty and look what happens everything opens up looking beautiful so so pretty and these are about to open up these are dahlias and they look like this look one opens up it looks so beautiful so beautiful Alrighty. I put vitamins on my roses because I have no idea why they look like this. It's possible that during the winter when I had the chickens like free ranging out here that they just used the bathroom way too much by the roots of the rose bush by like the base of the rose bush. So it's a possibility they got like burned. So I don't know. I'm not sure what to do. This fig tree is so loaded with figs like so many figs everywhere we got all in different stages there's so many so many they're just everywhere I'm so happy oh I almost fell <laughs> so many figs I don't know what happened here we're at the blueberry patch guys this is the blueberry patch they're finally starting to turn they look so pretty they look gorgeous gorgeous but one of my trees one of my blueberry bushes i don't know what happened to it everything else is looking pretty okay see that one is good this one is fine that one is okay so is that one the one back there but this one i don't know i don't know what happened i don't know and then when you see it's green inside so it's not dead i don't know i don't know but let's move on to the Greek oregano. It's looking good. Like, wow, look at that, how big it's gotten from the first video to now. The lavender looks awesome. So pretty. Look at that oregano looking great. All that lavender looks awesome. Let's show you guys the corn that I'm growing. I saw this Native American Hopi lady. She had planted her corn like this. Obviously her corn was like selectively bred for years and years and years to be able to like be grown so densely. This one isn't, but I'm trying it anyways, so. And that's the corn. And then I still need to fix this, everything fell. But this is my asparagus patch. It's all popping up, everything's looking good. Another little broccoli popped up. Cabbage, 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 collards, just collards everywhere. More collards, broccoli, um, stevia, sugar plant, more lavender. It looks so pretty. And then those right there are hollyhocks that I planted there. I don't know what color they're gonna be, but I think they're gonna look gorgeous. So that's the little vegetable garden I have over here. So to give you like a nice view of it. And then we turn around and we have the chicken coop. Oh, I don't know why they're so covered. Let's, like this some light goes the chickies hi chickies hi chickies hi chickies 
What did you guys put in the water? Why are you stepping on your... What are you doing? <laughs> Alrighty. I don't think there's any eggs. Let's go. Alrighty. So, now we're at like the base of the food forest. Um, there goes the volunteer fig tree. This is some type of melon. I'm going to leave it there. That is my elderberry. It's gotten so big. And then over here we have the kiwi patch. We have, um, this is the male kiwi right here. Right here we have a Ken's red female, a Ken's red back there. We have an Anna kiwi here and another Anna here. And right there that is like a mulberry growing. I'm not sure if I'm going to let it stay or not. Um, we turn this way we have the honeyberry and we have another honeyberry that is fertilizer i put on top well i put on the ground some got it was very dusty type of fertilizer um my flowers started opening up it looks so pretty and look at all the grapes it's like loaded So many grapes. Like, so many. That is the pineapple mint I got. It's doing its thing. That is the hemrod grape. It's gotten super long. Like, it's about to start climbing everything. Those are some of the Concord grapes. This is the Concord here. That's the base of the Concord. Poor Concord grapes been through a lot. Got hacked back like three times by um, lands. Well, not landscapers, like people who are here to mow the lawn. Uh, give you another. View of the grapes. All right. So that's my Lee Jujubi tree. I think it's looking real nice. Here I have my Italian plum and some kale at the base. Over here I have some mint at the base. And that's my Josta berry. This is my Seckle pear. It's looking really, really nice. And the pieces that had dried out, everything started growing back. Like, look. So I'm very happy with that. I don't know what was the problem. Um, this is raspberry. This is a planter that my neighbor gave me. My, like, call her my Dominican mom. She found this somewhere. Filled it up with all this stuff. Purslane and these, succul um, these succulents that could be outside. You know, purslane is edible, so that's great to have in the food forest. Once this gets big enough, I'll take some out and start planting them at the base of... Oh my gosh, what's going on here? What is that? Oh, it's like ants. Hmm, I'm going to have to do something about that. Yep, I'm definitely going to have to do something about that. Ooh, what's that? I don't want to touch with my finger. Oh, it's a mushroom. A mushroom. I wasn't sure what it was. I don't know why it was scaring me like that. Though. Where's that ant hill? I don't know. We'll find it. These are my wild garlics. I bought a little, um, the little flowers on the top, and then seeds and all that. That is my persimmon tree. It's looking so pretty. Those leaves are so glossy. Like wow, it looks awesome. And that kale got really big. That is my lemon yeah that's my lemon bomb um that's another broccoli and that is a collard green i put in there get a birdie visiting the garden some more flowers this is my flower patch and all of those are gonna bloom soon i cannot wait it's gonna look so gorgeous but i love the little splashes of orange in there right now um Look at what I have. 
It's not ready yet, though. It looks really good. I think. And that was a red one. These are two yellow raspberries. So you guys are going to be able to watch me eat them. So I hope they're ready. Oh, yeah, that came off super easy. All right, I'm about to eat that. Wow, I wish I had more. I know there's one more. Hold on. Mm. That taste is so good. I think I'm going to pick that raspberry and it's not ready. That was good. That was so good. Okay. Well, now I'm sad because I don't have any more. <laughs> but the blackberries will soon have a lot. I have so much. Not so, so much, but there's a lot. Look at all of them. Look at all of them. And this, I'm going to start trying to trellis that way. Alrighty. So we're here at the cherry tree. It's dying. It's gonna be dead. So yeah, I'm definitely yeah. I don't know. I'm gonna have to do something. Probably take it back to Home Depot because I don't think there's anything I can't. I can't save it. I can't make something you know come back to life. It's dead. It's it's gone. All right. It's onward and upward. We have the Santa Rosa plum here. Still looking the same. Looking good though. But ain't dying. Hopefully next year it gets bigger. Because when it came, I say this every video, when it came it was bigger. It just snapped in the box. It was like here and it had an extra two branches on it. So hopefully that's enough for it to be able to come back next year. Now we're at the paw paws. Oh my gosh! Did you guys see that? My pawpaw was gonna was like almost getting crushed a little bit. Alrighty, that's a lot of green growth. I'm so happy with that. I got some kale here. I don't know what is making it have those deficiencies that it looks like that. Maybe it's a slug. I don't know. I don't know. But the pawpaw looking good. Alright, let's go to the other pawpaw. Oh no! The chair was blocking it. I hope it's okay. I don't know. I don't know. This one's looking real sad and sorry. Could have been because of how pushed up against the chair it was. Right? Look at that. Not looking the best. Um. Look at um. Keys. Look at him. Little fly there. This is my um, honey crisp apple tree. Looking pretty good. Pretty good. I have a thing of kale. That's not like the best angle, I'm sorry. So that's how it's looking. I have a thing of kale at the base. Um, as we go this way, we pull up to the Barlet pear tree. This is my Barlet pear. Here is my other pawpaw. And this is another one of my pawpaws. Ooh, the two like new leaves. They look really pretty. Um, as we go this way, we have another raspberry that I planted in this mess of rocks. I also planted a fig tree. I don't know what type of fig I have, so that sucks. Um, now I'm gonna take you guys to the front of one of my properties so you can see the june berry out there the service berry okay so right here we have the raspberry um i planted a piece of kale in there somewhere in the tree work i'm gonna show you right here is the other raspberry those are the flowers i planted here in front that's how it looks that's my service berry tree um, it grew a whole new shoot. Look at how big that is. Really good. 
Oh, there goes the kale that I put, and that's another flower. Hopefully next year it'll let out something. Maybe this year it will, I don't know. But those look really pretty. I'm proud of it. And then over here is another service berry. I'm not sure if I'm going to leave it here, if I'm going to take this and bring it into my yard. I'm not sure yet. But that's how big the service berry is. And I have one raspberry here and another raspberry there. And then this gives you a big look into the yard. I'll give you a small pan view. Closes the door now. So in the front of my house, I planted like a little mini garden. I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to take you guys there now. Everything looks so nice. It's, everything is so lush. Just wanted to give you another view. Oh, wait. I forgot. I didn't even show you guys this part of the garden. Um, right here, I have more lemon balm. This is all lemon balm. That is a gooseberry. That's a jostaberry. That's a jostaberry. And that's a gooseberry. And then right here, I have a pomegranate tree. I had the pomegranate over there, but I was not too sure about how it was going to be prospering over there. This is the strawberry patch. It has kale here and kale there. They're almost like done ferning. That is my... Um, what is that? A goji berry. I have my goji berry in that blue cage. Um, that is my variegated sage. And that is my bergamot sage. I think it's bergamot sage. Alright. Oh, another thing. Ha ha ha. So funny. I cleaned out this whole bed and I was able to find my purple sweet potato slips. So this is a purple sweet potato slip. This, I think, is a purple sweet potato slip. That's a melon. That's a potato, sweet potato, sweet potato, sweet potato, sweet potato. And then I put potatoes in here. And I think I'm going to throw some carrot seeds in here too. So just everything that grows under will be in there. If they push each other, oh well. Alrighty, so now we're walking through all of this looking at it oh i didn't even show you guys this i think it's so pretty i've never seen them flower this is a succulent that i have and look at it in this little mermaid that broke Alrighty. so in the front of my house i did this it's legal where I live. It's called like beautification of the sidewalk, something like that. But every square, because there's four squares, every square has two tomato plants, um, a sunflower seed, corn, and carrots. So here there's also carrots, corn, sunflower, carrots, corn, sunflower, carrots, corn, sunflower, and the tomato plants. So I did that there. And then here I have the biggest sunflower. It's a mammoth, so it's gonna get really big. I added some vitamins into it. And this is like some, I don't think it's like some grass or something like that. I'm not sure. It's a drop and decorate, a mix chosen by garden designers. So it's just a mix of different stuff in there. And here, we have some more mint and some succulents flowering. Alrighty guys, I hope that you enjoyed this garden update of the food forest. And I hope that you will pull up to my garden again. You know, we're friends, you and me, you in the garden. So yeah, pull up. If you have something nice to say, leave it down in the comment section. If you ain't got nothing nice to say, keep it to yourself. Um, please comment like subscribe all that jazz um if you want to like see more of me you can also go in the um description and you can find my instagram it is jaleesa.ju and i also have another insta that is more 
towards my YouTube, which is thebronx.hippie. So you can follow me on both of those. Alrighty, guys. Have a great growing season. I'll be back again soon.